New at five, a small business in Athens pivoting from an online e-commerce business to an in-person shop. That's So Art opening its doors today, but it didn't come without its hurdles. Way 31's Olivia Schuler joins us live now. Olivia, how was this small business owner impacted by the pandemic? Well, Dan, this store behind me has a lot of history. It was originally built in 1910 as a shoe repair shop. Renovations were a task of itself. Then you add on labor shortages, supply chain issues. This place was pushed back from opening nearly four times. So many original opening dates. Opening around Thanksgiving quickly turned into February. And before she knew it, April 29th was the set date. It has been a cobbler shoe repair shop longer than I've been alive. And it had not had any major updates since 1970. And supply chain issues also impacted her own inventory. A lot of my products take a long time to get in. Doing most of her drawing digitally, sending her work to a company to be printed onto a product. All of that was taking months longer than, than we expected it to. Hurdle after hurdle didn't stop Ogles from seeing the big picture. Like you can't have too much art. This town is putting a lot back into its art community. Ogle's passion for art was always there, but in 2017, she hit rock bottom mentally. And just started to try to climb back out of it. Art keeping her head above water for years. I started online in late 2019, um, spun up the website, the Instagram on TikTok to post something that I made every single day. The pandemic actually heightening her online business. I followed her for a long time on her Instagram account. It's her online shopping was really the only option for buyers. I got a lot of orders. I mean, there was points where I was selling hundreds at a time. Giving her the idea to go bigger, moving outside the bedroom studio. I was outgrowing my studio. We started thinking about, you know, maybe exploring, getting a spot downtown. And those in the community, happy to add a small business to downtown Athens. It's been really exciting to see her grow. Um, but then to have the chance to come see things and feel things. The big picture, well worth the wait. It has a lot of history. It definitely feels like an art gallery, um, but a shop too. The store on Marcus Street, already a popular spot for those that live here in Limestone County. It was busy all day. Now, they'll only be open on Fridays, but you can make an appointment for any of Sarah's art to come and grab it, or they also let you drive up and she'll bring it out to your car. Reporting live in Athens, Olivia Schuler, Way 31 News.